All right. So I've been in Miami for three days and I haven't vlogged anything. It's been tough, man. I've been going from place to place and I ain't really been having the GoPro with me. It's tough to have a GoPro with me in the places I was at because I'm not really trying to be in a party. All these beautiful women around and be in there holding up a GoPro like this. Like, I think you'll look crazy, but the worst thing I, I could have did was leave it at home because I could have get so much more done. Y'all could see the, you know, type of life I live, which has calmed down a lot. And coming out here has really proved that, but I should have bought it, man. Because that's a part of growing for me. It's not worrying about what other people think and doing exactly what I want to do. But I failed at that. So, you know, you got to be conscious of your progress and what you're failing at. But today, we had a good little workout. My boy Ronnie, he came out here for his... Um, this camp is called Grind All Summer. It's gonna be grinding the whole month of July, basketball training. Um, we just finished ours in uh, Wyoming. That's it. So we came out here to support the homie. And it's big, it's nice. Everybody out here promoting their brand. We got, we got them sitting in a four, four or five star hotel, downtown Miami. Uh, he got sponsors. He did it real big, man. I'm really proud of him. And uh, really excited for the future. And me and him will be working together. That's like my brother. I did his website, his logo. I do his flyers. I do a lot of stuff for him. You know, uh, being around Ron Ronnie, I've met a lot of people. You know, connections. A lot of time it's about who you know and not what you know. A lot of time it's about working smarter instead of harder. Well, that'd be the difference between winners and losers sometimes. But, yeah, man, I'm out here walking the Brickell area, Miami. I'm going to their hotel because they're staying at the five star hotel. Ain't happy. Couldn't do it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what we're about to do. I don't know if we're going to the beach or if we're going to chill at the hotel. But, better go pick it with them for a minute. Have a good time, enjoy the fourth. I got on all black, so I really un I unprepared. I didn't dress, I didn't really know what we were doing, and I don't really have any clothes. But I'm all black, but I got on shorts, I don't got on jeans today. Real relaxing for me. Um, I got on tennis shoes, I want to wear slides, but once again, um, I gotta get comfortable. I failed. I gotta get comfortable wearing my foot, my feet out. I don't like people to see my toes. So I don't know what type of crowd we're about to be around, but I didn't want them to see my toes. So yeah, be another look of the Brickell area where they're staying at. It's my, my guy, Ant's rental car. He don't think he got tickets, but I think he really got tickets. Yeah, I think they hit him up all weekend. Probably gonna tow him in a minute. Yeah, he probably gonna get towed. Uh, yeah, that's about it, man. So we're in Ronnie's fancy hotel. We better go to the pool area. Check this out. This pool area is pretty, pretty tough. Why choose in town? Why is the surprise? Oh shit! Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Y'all know this guy? 
cool is that guy? Uh, What's the deal? Ain't nothing. <laughs> hey, nothing. Y'all see, I see you meet in Miami. I'm vlogging, though. Something you should be doing. Where your camera at? The, the grind talk. My friend, how are you, my friend? <laughs> Alright guys, uh, your audio is right here in the center. We've got one point in both of them, but this is where it's coming from. So uh, just speak clearly. It should pick up everybody. We've got two audio sources running, so y'all should be clear. Just speak up. We just speak up. Especially you guys that are angled out that way towards the camera. You're angled away from the microphone, so make sure you speak clearly. Back from Miami. Went back to Houston for a minute. Finally got down to Peoria for the TBT tournament. Dog shooter met us out here with some ratchet. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Look at the scene. Are you stupid? Could have green. Pimentui, meaning fat lake. In the North language? Indian name for Pure Lake here at Pasadena. I'm not reading that. I can that read the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the most beautiful drive? So you paying that? So you paying that? Are you Such stupid? A professional. Enjoying all this beauty, Peoria, Illinois. Look, look, look like. <sighs> this is why I want to travel a lot this summer to see stuff like this. Always on the move, always hooping. Don't really have time for adventures. Well, when I do. Try to have as much as I can. I want to go across the whole Midwest. For some reason, I'm infatuated with the Midwest right now. <laughs> Just see stuff like this. <sighs> Most of the time, I come to a city. Just go to the club. Go to the bar. Go back to the room. Not even experience the city. This what I'm on now. <sighs> hey, this walk up ain't no joke. Walking up, going back to the car. See if we can see some nice views. Man, the last vlog was short, very short. I didn't bring my camera with me. Because in Miami, I can't lie, I was afraid to pull it out. <laughs> I was telling my vloggers, the last vlog was short. I was in Miami, and I was afraid to pull out my camera. I was too cool. Yeah. A barrier I've been trying to get over. I failed. That's what this vlog is about. Failing, <laughs> understanding why you failed, how you failed, and, and making them pay the next time. <laughs> I'm very comfortable around y'all. I didn't like the whole vibe in Miami as a whole, though, son. This was too bougie. I mean, I guess it wasn't bougie. I guess they just was seeking so much validation. We on camera? <laughs> <laughs> I said, we live? <laughs> yeah, man, I mean, I like the whole Miami situation. I couldn't be that permanently. I just feel like it's a whole bunch of fakes. Beautiful people, though. Beautiful city. But all we did was party the whole time. <laughs> Couldn't appreciate nothing like this. I feel like this is 10 times better. If we had more time on our hands and we could have actually planned this. What would you have done different? I would have bought some off. 
<laughs> Definitely bust them off. I would have, yeah. Had some food in my belly. Would have wore different shoes. Um, yeah, I just messed these shoes up. But they will be clean to the best of my ability. Because they will be worn for another year. So. Ooh. Damn, boy. After the leg workout. <laughs> this ain't no joke. It means she really did a leg workout this morning. It was a light day actually, but I feel it now. We don't want to do too much because we play this weekend. Oh, that's why I'm in Peoria. <laughs> For the uh, $2 million tournament. Team HBC. Play our first game tomorrow at 9.15. By the time y'all see this vlog, it's going to be over. So, I won't tell y'all to tune in, <laughs> but I'll definitely give y'all the results when we're done, and I'll bring it around, i bring the camera around the whole event, but that's all we got going, man, walking through the fields, exploring Peoria. Hey, what's this place called? Grandview Drive. We on the Grandview Drive. Enjoying life. Tiring out. We got the CBT 2017. Oh. Hey. Tim in the house, my nigga Ant, you heard me? The ugly ass nigga. <laughs> All these jerks, see these jerks? <laughs> Far from it. And my GoPro keep dying. You should get one to wear on again on the chest. Game time. Shoot that shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? So we went on one in the TBT. Got whipped. Team came out, brought the intensity we did. It's a little aggravating, but hey, what you can do? That's like they shot 50% for the three. Kudos to them. But I'm not going straight back to Houston. We're about to make us a stop in St. Louis. Then we're going to finish out the night in Memphis. Drive back to Houston the next day. Riding on the highway. So yeah, we're about to go check out the arch. Then get some food from... Sweetie Pie. Sweetie Pie. So we was riding around St. Louis. And we passed by the Michael Brown. Mike Brown. Spot. Where he got shot at. Small ones. I want to take pictures. So we was leaving Miss Sweetie Pie. Ah, I forgot to get a picture of Sweetie Pie. Damn. We found ourselves in Ferguson, Missouri. Play some Michael Brown. That's what we. That's what I know Ferguson for. Ended up finding a little plaque and actually seen the spot where Michael Brown got shot. I, I wasn't big on this because I felt like that was happening everywhere. I wasn't really following the story. I wasn't trying to get into all of the hippie hoopla. But I got that and I felt some type of way. I don't know what type of way it was, but it was a weird feeling. I just made a little post on Instagram just talking about coexisting. We gotta get it together. I don't know who right, I don't know who wrong. We gotta get it together. Johnson out.
downtown St. Louis. About to get some shots of the arch. Checking out the places in St. Louis. It's hot as hell. Baseball field back there. And Mark McGuire hit 60 something home run. Y'all know nothing about that. Yeah. One of the most uninteresting <laughs> monuments. <laughs> the, the slavery part of this sh shit. <laughs> it's way better. I could have got this pic off goddamn Google. Photoshop myself in. It's a great structure. Ain't nothing to be walking this heat for though. Loki disappointed. This was tough though. The Dred Scott. Y'all knew Dred Scott. The reason why I'm able to talk to y'all right now because goddamn Dred Scott. You don't even know that. Yeah. We out of here, bro. Hitting the road, bro. Bill Street. Here I come. You stupid? people I don't give them money unless they're working for something if they got some cans if they're picking up some cans or if they got something that impresses me or something that makes me want to spend money I give it to them but if they just ask me for money or cash by just sitting down all day I can't give you no money I'm sorry Okay. 